good morning. How are you today while you're sit staying at home during this coronavirus pandemic? Hope all is well. We need more comfort foods. Today, we're going to do vegetable soup and bread. Now, I will put the bread recipe uh, in the comments once it's posted, but I already started my bread just because it takes so long. It's in the oven on proof. Uh, it's raising. So once it raises, then we'll work it and show you how to do the bread and the buns. In the meantime, we're going to do our vegetable soup and we're going to do stock. So to do the stock, you need to have a few things. You want a cut up carrot. And this is just for <laughs> stock, bad knife, <laughs> and, <laughs> and you want some onions. So you cut up an onion and just you just chop them real big until we're off to a good start today. <laughs> so it's one carrot, one onion. Quarter it, throw it in. Then you've got some celery. You want two stalks of celery. Okay, so with the celery, you just want to chop it up big too. Throw it in there. Now, I this is you don't need this, but I just happen to have some soup bones. So I'm going to throw my soup bones in there too. Okay, along with the soup bones. Then you want, when you have celery, you should always save your celery tops if you're not gonna use them, because they come in handy. So you wanna take a handful, throw them in. Put them back in the freezer. Okay, so you also wanna put in some salt and pepper. So we just sprinkle in a little salt sprinkle in a little pepper because you want your stock to be very flavorful that's the base of your soup so you want to put some parsley flakes about a tea tablespoon is good bay leaf and they're always in pieces so two or three is fine and you want some thyme I just do um, probably half a teaspoon at, at the most. Now, your liquid. I use the beef broth just to throw it in there, give it a little extra boost. Now, I'm also doing mine in the Instant Pot. You can do it on the stove. Instant Pot takes 15 minutes. On the stove, you want it about an hour. So, you have all that in your Instant Pot. I mean, and that's it. You just throw in a bunch of stuff, whatever, actually, whatever you want in your, in your beef broth. Okay. So, I'm going to set it for manual. I'm going to do 20 minutes because I have the uh, bone, beef soup bones in there. Okay. Okay, when that is done, I'll get back to you. Okay, while our stock is cooking, we're going to get ready for our bread. Like I said, the bread is raising, but we wanted to grease up with Crisco. Mm -hmm. Not an ad. Freeze our pan real good and our bread pan, which I already did, and the cookie sheet. Okay, paper towel. Then, okay, so we're ready for that. And I just like to have that little bit of dough sitting here. In the meantime, too, for some Easter fun. Here's my Easter nails. They look like Easter eggs, but it was fun. It's just a cute thing to do. Okay, our bread is ready. I should 
say the dough. Okay, so this is what I had. Like I said, the recipe will be on the website once it's posted. So you just want to knead it around a little bit. better knife than we used before. And you want to cut, you have your dough like this. So you want to cut a little less than a half. So mark your half and then just go over a little bit. This is for your bread, for the loaf, the loaf of bread. So you want to Fold it in a little bit. You know, it just looks sort of like that. It's sort of gross looking, but. You set that down in the pan. Okay, so then for the rolls, I'm gonna make some buns. You knead it a little bit. Move that a little. And you just pinch it like that. Not very good. Just keep bringing it around and pinch it. And then you set it on the pan. So you'll do that with all of your, your dough. You just you know, take about, it's hard to say. Um, it's probably about, about a quarter cup to a half a cup of dough that you're using. Like I said, just bring it around, twist it around. You have a little ball like that. The bottom will look like this. Okay, so go ahead and do the rest of your, your buns and we'll get them ready and I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished putting my buns. There's my buns. I've got six of them, and I did measure it. It's about a half a cup of that size of dough that you're using. I also had, I didn't want to do, you know, like a dozen and a half of buns, so I made two loaves of bread. And so you put them in the pan, put a little oil on your hands, and you put some oil on, on them so that they're nice and shiny and they don't stick to the pan, which isn't a guarantee, but it may help. <laughs> okay, so when you're done with this, what you want to do is you want to put them, I put mine in the oven and I set my oven at proof. And that way it's a little bit warm in there. And then you get a clean towel, not this one. And you lay the towel over everything and you let them raise for an hour and a half. We'll get back to everybody as soon as our soup stock is done. Okay, the stock is done and we have our broth. In this pan, whew, that was close. Could have not had stock. Okay, and uh, you're probably gonna want more, but that's when you're gonna add the water to it too. And you'll just add water to as much soup as you want. But we're gonna put our ingredients in it first and then that way we'll know how much water we want to add. Just depends on how much soup you want. If you were lucky to go to the store and get a bag of soup vegetables, that would be great. But you know how things are these days. I got mixed vegetables. It'll work. So, you want to throw your mixed vegetables in. You want to throw potatoes in, and some extra celery too. So I'm going to get some celery out in a minute, and we'll get that. Um, when you're done, I mean, now, when you're done, when you want to make your vegetable soup, or this one is beef vegetable with no beef, you can put beef in it. If you have leftover beef, if you have any kind of beef uh, that's cooked, cut it up, throw it in the soup and do it now, it would be now when you're putting it on the stove to simmer for a while, because this is gonna simmer for 
oh, an hour or so. Okay, what you want to do is since you have mixed vegetables, you want to oops, forgot to rinse them. You want to dice your potatoes. You want to dice your potatoes. Um, the bag of soup vegetables is nice. It has everything that you need in it. It's a beautiful day out there today, so I hope everybody gets a chance to go out and do some walking or some yard work, something like that. It just helps make the day go a little faster. Okay, just want two potatoes. We don't want too many potatoes. Salary, I'll be right back. Okay, now I have some celery and oh, it has some really good tops on it, too. You want to put some of these tops in there, so cut those off a little bit. Okay, one nice big chunk of celery. So first of all, we're going to do the tops. I cut mine up and then just, just chop them up. And watch you don't scrape that pretty fingernail polish off your nails. Because you don't want to see fingernail polish in your soup. Okay, so that goes in. Okay. Your celery. Just cut it up, just little, you know, thin slices. Okay. Now, since the mixed vegetables don't have onions, we're going to cut up half an onion. If we don't chop our fingers first. I'm only going to put a quarter, quarter of my onion in. I think that's more than enough. Okay. Now, I also like to put in Rotel tomatoes. There's so many different kind of Rotel tomatoes out there. I pick chunky diced tomatoes with green chilies. You can use hot tomatoes. You can use whatever you want. Vegetable soup is almost like a dumping ground. You just put whatever in it. So, okay. Spices. Sprinkle a little bit of thyme. Not much. Pepper. Probably about a quarter to a half a teaspoon of pepper. About a quarter teaspoon of salt. New parsley. <laughs> okay, you want about a teaspoon of parsley in there. Okay, now let's stir that together. Oh, looks good. Right there. Okay. That's <laughs> the best I can do. Okay. 
Now, one of the other things that we put in is cabbage. And I like to do my cabbage now because I like to get the taste of the cabbage in the soup while it's simmering. Okay, so you want about half of a head of cabbage. And you just want to slice down through it in big, big chunks. See how it's like four? And then you're gonna do two across this way. You don't want your cabbage real little. And you just dump that in too. Okay, we're going to put it on simmer and we'll taste it later. We want it to simmer a little bit with all the stuff that you put in it so far. And then when we taste it later, if it seems to need any more uh, of a taste, a beef taste, then we have beef base. Throw some of that in there. Okay, let's simmer. <laughs> okay, in order to simmer, you have to put it on high first and let it boil. When it comes to a boil, then put it down low and just let it simmer. Uh, for uh, probably a good hour or so, um, you'll know. I mean, it's taste. Vegetable soup is not really a recipe. Uh, you can go on Pinterest and find all kind of vegetable soup recipes. Go, those are good. That's I like those. For us, let's just throw things together. There, there is no recipe. So, okay, simmer away. Okay, so it's going to start to boil pretty soon. I've noticed that I'd really like to have more juice. So I'm adding some more water to mine because it's going to cook down. So you don't want to, you want to have some juice to it. It is soup, by the way. Okay, let it go. Okay, our bread is raised and look how nice they look. So I have six buns, two loaves of bread, put them in the oven in a minute, and then it'll be ready. Soup is still simmering. Okay, everything is done. The soup, mmm, looks good, smells good. I didn't have to add any bouillon to it. It had enough flavor. The bread, the bread turned out very nice. The buns turned out me just a little bit darker than, than what I wanted, but they're still good. See? Mm -mm -mm. I brushed the buns and the bread with a little bit of butter. That just gives it a little shine to it. Gives it some taste too. Okay, once your vegetable soup is totally cold, totally cold, you can spoon some into Ziploc bags, serving sizes, whatever you want, and freeze them. And that way, you, you know, if you make a lot of it and you're not going to eat it, well, just hang on to it and save it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed today's comfort foods with the bread and the vegetable soup. Hope everybody has a blessed Easter. Stay safe, stay healthy, and God bless America.